Um, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do uh, an example from the end of chapter three. It is problem 3.8.5, which is still, we're still on discrete random variables. And in this um, question, it says that let X have the binomial PMF. So it gave us the PMF of X, which is PX of X is equal to four choose X multiplied by 1 over 2 to the power of 4. So I do have the PMF. First, um, it asked me to find the standard deviation of x. So what I have to find is sigma of x. Okay, so let's find that first. So we know that sigma of x is equal to the square root of variance of x. So in order to find the standard deviation, I have to find the variance first. And then in order to find the variance of x, what I have to do is I have to find the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared, right? So the first step that I have is to find the expected value of x, then expected value of x squared, and then at the end variance. And then when I take the square root of variance of x, I'm going to end up with the standard deviation of x. So let's start with the expected value of x. So we know that the expected value of x is equal to the sum of x PMF of x. But what would be the range for x? So here, they did not give us the range for x, but they gave us that x is a binomial PMF and they gave us, a, sorry, binomial discrete random variable, and it, they gave us the PMF of x, as you can see here. So you can see that I do have four choose x, right? So what are the, val the values that x can get? We know that x can get either 0, 1, 2, and 3. So there is no way to choose 4 from 5, right? So 3 and 4, sorry. So we're going to have 4 over here as well. But we cannot have 5 anymore. So what we're going to do here is that we know that x is starting from 0 and is ending at 4. So the same method that we were doing before. So we had x, 0, multiplied by the PMF of x when x is equal to 0. 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus x equal to 1, multiplied by 4 choose 1. So I'm substituting for x and multiplying it by x as well, the PMF plus 2 multiplied by 4, choose 2, 1 over 2 to the power of 4, plus 3 multiplied by 4, choose 3, 1 over 2 to the power of 4, and at the end we're going to have 4 multiplied by 4, choose 4, 1 over 2 to the power of 4. And when we calculate this, we're going to end up with 2. So this is the expected value of x. Now what I have to do is to find the expected value of x squared. So the expected value of x squared is exactly the same as we are doing for expected value of x, only we have to pay attention that here we have x squared instead of x. So this means that we're going to have the sum of x2 px of x. So instead of x's that I'm multiplying by my um, PMFs, I have to uh, multiply the square of x. So we're going to have 0 is the same. So for 0, nothing is changing to the power of 4. For 1, square of 1 is still 1. 1 to the power of 2 is 1. So we're going to have the same. Now, for 2, I'm going to have 4 multiplied by 4, choose 2, because here we still have x, so I don't have to um, actually square these two. So I only have to square the x, right? x is squared. I mean, the x that is being uh, multiplied by the PMF. Plus 9 multiplied by 4, choose 3, 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus 16, 4 choose 4, 
multiply by 1 over 2 oops, to the power of 4. And that would end up with 5. So the expected value of x squared is equal to 5. So we found the expected value of x. We found the expected value of x squared. Now I can easily find the variance of x. So variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared. So that would be expected value of x squared is 5 minus 2 to the power of 2 and that would be equal to 1. So now we have the variance of x, we can easily find sigma of x, and that would be the square root of variance of x, which is 1. So we're going to end up with standard deviation equal to 1. Okay? Now, part B of this question is saying that what is the probability of x between mu x minus sigma x and mu x plus sigma x, which means that x is within what's one standard deviation of the expected value. If you can see, I'm adding and subtracting the standard deviation from mu, which is the expected value of x, um, are the limits of x, right? So I want x to be between these two numbers. So I'm going to substitute for mu of x and um, standard deviation of x. I'm going to have probability of x between what was mu of x was equal to 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So I have to find the probability that x is between 1 and 3, okay? So when I want x to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3, do you agree that this is equal to probability of x equal to 1 plus x, probability of x when x is equal to 2 plus probability of x when x is equal to 3. So this is saying that when x is between, greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3, we have only three possibilities for x. x equal to 1, x equal to 2, and x equal to 3. So I already have the PMF of x, so I can easily find um, this probability that I'm looking for. So the probability of x between 1 and 3 is going to be equal to probability of x when x is equal to 1. It will be 4 choose 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 choose 2 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 choose 3 1 over 2 to the power of 4. So I'm going to open up this um, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2 so you can uh, see how we're calculating those. So I know that I have this. 1 over 2 common in all of them, right? So 4 choose 1, we know that it is 4 factorial over 3 factorial, um, 1 factorial, right? 1 factorial plus 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial plus 4 factorial over 1 factorial, 3 factorial, okay? So 4 factorial, the first term here. This will be equal to 4 because I can open up the numerator as 4 multiplied by 3 factorial over 3 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. This will be canceled and 1 is 1, so I'm going to end up with 4. And I'm going to have the same thing over here, so I'm going to have 4. Now, for the one in the middle, I'm going to have 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 factorial over 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. So these two will be cancelled, and then I'm going to end up with 6 over here. Okay, so now the probability that I was looking for will be equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 4 plus 4 plus 6. So that would be 14 
and I know that 1 over 2 to the power of 4 is 1 over 16. So at the end, I'm going to end up with 14 over 16 as the probability of x being between 1 and 3. Alright, so this was problem 3.8.5. I hope you enjoyed this, vi this video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.